So, uh, hello everyone. Um, as you can see in uh, this video, um, <laughs> the conditions aren't the best. We're getting a lot of wind, but um, nonetheless, um, it feels good to have a little bit of wind even when it's this hot, so I decided I'd work with Buttons. So, Buttons is um, a two year old mare that uh, it belongs to some friends of mine and uh, so she came to me and um, she was uh, already quite gentle meaning that my friend uh, Cindy had spent a lot of time um, brushing her and um, just handling her petting her she really loves uh, loves being around uh, people um, buttons does so um, <laughs> But um, Cindy didn't really handle her at halter, so uh, we trained that, and she has just been uh, just a sweetheart. She is just a, a quick learner, and um, she's just been fun to work with. So um, today, um, I'm just going to since she's so so small, we're just I just work her on the ground, and uh, today I'm I'm just going to put uh, some long reins on her, and uh, we'll see how she handles the wind and the flapping of the reins behind her. Um, I've also, as you can see, noticed um, as you can see, I've sped up the video quite a bit um, just to show you um, that my ritual doesn't really change. When I come in, I generally. Uh, We'll um, brush the horse uh, just so that um, we start off on a good basis and um, then uh, I'll check her feet and then uh, finally get ready to uh, start working. So um, so um, I, I'll, in just a minute I'll be back and we'll be ready to go. So uh, She went back to the fence to look after what the other horses were doing. So here I come and I've got the pad and then I've got, um, oh gosh, I forgot what what you call those, a surcinkle, I suppose. And uh, I'm approaching her with it and she, she obviously sees it flapping in the wind and she's like, hmm, not too sure about that. Especially this has only been what, like the third time we get that contraption on her so this is really new but um, I'm gonna kind of show her that I don't really want her running so she thinks right now that she's supposed to run away from me but I'm gonna give her yep there so I give her the signal nope I want you not running away from me so she comes in right off the bat so we've been really um, communicating really well her and I and so here I'm going to just uh, kind of approach her with the pad and the surcinkle and uh, you'll see at some point in time the flap goes up and she's like oh my gosh it's flapping and she's just like oh no I think I have to go away because she sees that thing flapping in the wind and I'm like what? well no that's not really I just kind of stay um, neutral like meaning it no that was not my intention I didn't want you to go away and so uh, now that she's stopped, I'll approach her slowly to show her that my idea is not to make her run. So she's waiting on what I'm, I'm going to do, and then now I approach her in a non-threatening way. There is so much wind out there, you can see me sh covering my... I'm actually losing my sunglasses, I think, if I have the sunglasses on. They're pushing them off my face. And it's blowing a little bit of sand into my eyes, so less than ideal conditions. As you can see, she doesn't run away from me this time. But the new challenge is to get the pad <laughs> to stay on her back and get the surcinkle over the top of everything. So I basically have to lean over her and keep the pad in place while I get the surcinkle on. And I'm hoping I'm using the right word, but you'll get you see what I mean and uh, if I'm not using the right word that thingy on her back is um, ho gonna hold that uh, the pad down so but it was a little challenging as you can see and uh, I have to <laughs> really work at it but she's really patient with me and I'm leaning over the top of her back she's got that 
saddle pad flapping on her and she doesn't really look worried at all. She understands that I just want her to stand there and uh, that's exactly what she, she does. So even getting the little girth there that um, attaches everything together was a challenge because it was bl the wind was blowing so hard. So <laughs> So yeah, that's just a part of the wind problem. I I actually had to unhook it on the side I'm standing on and rehook it on the other side. Or, no, I hooked it on the stand. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did, but now you can see flapping in the wind. <laughs> and again, she's looking at it, but not moving. Just kind of paying attention, not showing any signs of wanting to go away or anything like that. And I'm actually comfortable enough that I can just uh, squat down next to her and uh, get everything uh, sorted out. So, um... So this just demonstrates how patient this little horse is and how calm and uh, just uh, she's just has been such a good character. So I finally get it all attached. I don't tighten it too hard well for one reason because um, <laughs> it's a little hug um, because it's um, well first of all I can't because she's so tiny that that's the shortest uh, shortest strap I have and uh, second of all well, she's just a young horse so I don't really generally tighten those things up really hard from the get go so I'm just getting her used to that kind of thing and I'm standing there just a uh, kind of checking how she's feeling with me being away and with that wind blowing and everything and she does not look like she's uh, any different with or without the surcingle on or the shingy thingy majings or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so um, now we're, we're going to set the reins. So the reins, um, I actually made myself. I wanted some lightweight reins um, for when, uh, if the horse does get out of hand, yeah, they don't have big leather straps flapping all over the place. So these things are, I just ordered some, um, some webbing on Amazon and... Uh, and also some rope and I, I uh, made my own reins so that they would also work with the little surcingle that I've got there so um, I can slide the buckles actually through the holes on the surcingle so that makes it uh, practical whereas um, thicker reins wouldn't have made it through through those buckles so um, yeah that um, so the reins are going to be challenging in this wind, nonetheless, because <laughs> they're so lightweight that they start flapping and acting more like uh, giant flags than anything else. But again, we're dealing with a very calm horse, um, just uh, very cooperative, and uh, I just can't be any more grateful to able to work with this horse because she's just a sweetheart so um, again this is about the third time we've done this and uh, <laughs> I, I know a few horses that wouldn't be uh, acting like this on uh, their third trial so um, I just uh, consider even just getting her uh, all dressed up is uh, already a success And she still uh, follow, and she follows me. So, uh, um, just uh, and she's curious about what's happening next. So I'm just gonna unravel those and uh, kind of show her what's happening in the wind at a distance. And she's looking. You can see she's looking and kind of trying to figure things out. 
and those things are flapping like crazy. It does I mean, <laughs> you see that, and it just looks like a, yeah. You see the wind, how it catches onto those reins. So, pros and cons to having those reins, but um, I guess they're a good uh, desensitizer for the horse as well. See, I've got it hooked onto her, and it's uh, kind of flapping there attached to her and she's not again not having any issues with that had she sh demonstrated any kind of um, concern while I was handling them at a distance I would have worked around her prior to even attaching the ring to her but she just uh, um, basically told me she'd be fine with it See, I even bring that so that it kind of flaps towards her legs, and she just turns towards me and uh, is uh, just quite inquisitive and uh, wondering what's uh, what I what I need from her next. So, but now we've got both reins on, and uh, we'll be ready to uh, go. I'm just going to stand behind her for a little bit so that she can uh, get a break from the flapping wind, um, reins because uh, they are causing a little bit of tension on the nose when they are just flapping behind her. So I wanted to, I try to short, shorten the reins up so they don't flap as much and cause as much uh, um, pull on the nose. Um, there is no bit on this bridle, so um, we're just working bit bitless right now, and uh, she's um, already executed a very nice stop for me right there, with very little pressure on those reins. So when I, um, one of the challenges I had with her is that when I stopped her, when I put pressure on the reins initially, she would try to turn and look at me. Well, with the pressure on both reins, she could not move. I was basically inhibiting her from turning, moving, and looking at me, and I was unaware of it, but she just wouldn't stop. She was just trying to turn. So when I finally figured out that if I let up on the... I, I figured out, well, I should let up on this rein to allow her... because she wasn't understanding, and, I, and then she just automatically, after after seeing pressure, she would just automatically turn and look at me. So um, it's like, okay, well now I understand what's going on. So uh, then we worked through that, and now she's uh, she's understanding. Uh, well, but we're both understanding each other a little bit better, and uh, she's understanding pressure on one side and another. And you just saw that um, she'll do it. She'll execute a nice S in the round pen for me on both sides. So and a nice here. I'm putting tension and boom there she goes she stops for me very little pressure on the reins and then I come back and give her a break from that flapping so yeah just uh, just fun to work with and uh, just a uh, um, just a very good girl so um, well I guess uh, I'll end this uh, here um, you guys can uh, continue watching the video the rest of the video because uh, I mean um, it doesn't require much commenting um, you guys could certainly make your own observations and um, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the beginning of the video as well uh, thank you so much for stopping in and I hope you guys uh, stop in again also um, I want to extend my gratitude to uh, my friends Cindy and Boyce. They are the owners of this little buttons. Um, I love you guys and um, I am so grateful that you give me the opportunity to work with buttons. Um, she is an incredible horse and uh, we've been having a lot of fun together. Finally and uh, most of all thank you my dear Lord for uh, making me meet such amazing people in my life and uh, bringing me um, to um, great um, adventures and uh, thank you so much for your sacrifice on the cross for us dear, uh, my dear lord and um, amen well everyone uh, 
Have a good, a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.